Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Cavallo and I will be explaining to you the origin, the insertion, the innervation, and the function of both the masseter and platysma muscles. So first off, the masseter muscle is a thick muscle of mastication. It consists of both a superficial part as well as a deep part. The origin of this masseter muscle would be at the zygomatic arch and both the superficial part and the deep part originate there. The superficial part inserts on the masseteric tuberosity at the outer surface of the mandibular angle. On the other hand, the deep part runs dorsally to the outer surface of the mandibular ramus. The masseter is supplied by a branch of mandibular, mandibular nerves called the masseteric nerve. The function of this muscle would be to elevate the mandible, causing jaw closure, which would allow you to chew. And when this muscle is in use, you can actually see it from the outer side. As you see, if I chew here, you can see the masseter actually being worked. So that right there is the masseter muscle. Okay, so the platysma muscle is a superficial neck muscle that actually lies within the skin. Um, it starts from the lower neck and it spreads across the clavicle down to the second rib and then upward to insert here a little above the lower jaw. Now the platysma gets its innervation from the facial nerve and what it does it's able to control facial expressions. So usually when the platysma is being used it'll make um, it'll be able to make a frowning face or like a scared or surprised yikes face and it'll use all these muscles here. Um, when it's being used, you can actually see it. You'll see the strains and the muscle fibers here. So you can kind of see those being used as I do that. <laughs>